well today. I haven't been on in a while. I've been out doing some trips and having a lot of fun. Hope you've joined me. But today I just want to get on and give a word of encouragement. I think there's a lot going on again and a lot more that will be going on in the future. A lot of friends struggling, having trouble. And also, you know, congratulations on that because if things, if you're having sicknesses in your body or going through challenges, it just means that, you know, the Lord has a great plan for you and that the enemy's trying to stop it. He's always going to do something to keep us entangled in anything other than what God has called us to do. And when, you know, the Lord said, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and I set you apart, that he knows every hair on your head and the plan that he's had, no matter what you've been through, for an expected end and for good things. I look back at all that I've been through and there were a lot of opportunities that prepared me for today, but also a lot of really hard things. And the enemy knows what your weaknesses are. For me, they're different than what they would be for you. And he uses those things to try to keep our eyes on those things and to keep our eyes on our own selves so we don't do what the Lord has called us to do. He, he wants us to lose hope, to lose faith, um, to be sick. Um, that seems to be my weakness. In the last three weeks, I've had some incredible things come against me. Matter of fact, week before last, I couldn't raise my left hand above my waist. I couldn't, I couldn't do my hair. I couldn't cut my grass. I couldn't do anything. And my mind got into fear because I live here alone and I am dependent on me and no one to help me do these things. So my mind, of course, goes to the, the bad. And then now that's completely gone because when the sickness has happened to me, I dig into the word all the more. I listen to ministers that I respect that know uh, it's God's plan to heal that Jesus did heal 2,000 years ago. So I stay in that word until I break through. Uh, for me, I've seen people be healed immediately, but for me, sometimes it's a process. And then as soon as that went away, here came another thing. And um, after that went away, there came another thing. And so I know that I heard a minister one time that I respect say, listen, don't think more highly of yourself than you should because the enemy doesn't know you. Uh, the devil doesn't know you. I said, listen, he has my social security number, shoe size, address. <laughs> but again, you know, when Jesus came, that he defeated the enemy and that we don't have to put up with these things, that we have the power and authority by what Jesus did on the cross to overcome it. So I don't know what it is that you're going through today, whether it's sickness, whether it's fear, maybe some money problems because of what's going on out there, housing problems, but everything that you have need of is in the answer, the answer is in the word of God. So if you have a challenge like that, go to the word. It'll tell you how to handle it. It'll tell you what to do. And the Lord said right before, the night before his crucifixion, and he knew what was going to happen to him, and he was comforting other people. So a lot of times, and I, I get off on these wild tangents, my mind's thinking these things, but you know, a lot of times when our mind is on us and we're not thinking about others, it magnifies that problem. But when Jesus was thinking about other people, he said, he was talking to the disciples, let not your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. And wow, what a statement. And then come to me all you are burdened and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Fear not, only believe. It is the thief that comes to kill, steal and destroy, going around like a roaring lion looking who he can devour. But the Lord says, I have come to give you life and give it more abundantly. The Lord is good, he loves you. You know, I, I dig into healing scriptures when something happens to me like that, that what did Jesus do? He didn't put sickness on anyone. He didn't put condemnation on anyone. He just went about doing good, healing all who were sick and oppressed of the devil to fulfill the prophecy in Isaiah that said that he took our infirmities, he bore our sicknesses, and by his stripes we were healed. 
that no plague can come near us, that he sent his word and he healed us. And in Psalms, he says, bless the Lord, O my soul, who forgave my sins and took away all my diseases. Listen, <laughs> when the enemy threw this at me, and I always tell him, I do talk to him, I'm like, listen, you're so stupid. Every time you throw something like this at me, I am all the more determined to go out and do what God has told me to do. So in the last several weeks, I have been out laying hands on people, talking to people about the Lord. This is what we are to be doing. I had a precious brother say to me the other day, um, you think Trump will get back in? I don't care. I don't care. It has nothing to do with what we are to be doing. Listen, you guys re read Psalm 37. Evil will not win. We win. And I believe it'll be on this planet. I believe that we, before Jesus comes, I believe we will see great, mighty signs, wonders, miracles now. But we will see it someday if it's not in this lifetime, but I believe it will be. You know, the Bible says that my people shall not suffer wrath, that I go before you and make the crooked places straight. So I believe that. So I'm just going, see, we need to occupy till he comes. Not worry, not be entangled. If you're sick, you speak over yourself, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Them that love it shall eat its fruit. And listen, I'm not against um, worldly remedies. I went out today and because I've seen some great uh, talk shows and different things about what's going on. So I went out today, got me some zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D. And so I ordered some quercetin. It's Q-U-E-R-C-I-T-I-N, and I might be wrong, but these things will build up your immune system so you can be healthy. I am not afraid going out. I'm not afraid speaking to people about the Lord, laying my hands on them, seeing them healed. Because whatever the devil throws at me, I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna do what the Lord has told me to do and that's what we all need to be doing. And I just wanted to tell you today that God loves you. He's not condemning you. He's not mad at you. He's not trying to hurt you or put bad things on you. All of the bad comes from the enemy. The Lord said, you know, Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. And like I said, Jesus Christ went about doing good, healing all. And he says, giving life. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm here for you. If any of y'all need healing in your body, you're welcome to reach out to me at amyspurlock.org and you can be healed today. You don't need to go into tomorrow alone, fearful, needing healing in your body that you can be healed today. So God loves you. God bless you. Until I see you again. Bye.